اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والصلاۃ والسلام علی اشرف المرسلین سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی اہلہ و اصحاب اجمعین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ تعالی و برکاتہ May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon all of us. It's another fantastic Friday evening. We give thanks to Allah who has given us the grace and the mercy to witness uh, today. And uh, we pray Almighty Allah will continue to be there for us and continue to protect us from all evil and continue to guide us right in all our ways and continue to bring peace and the uh, unity into our lives as individuals, as families and as a nation. Once more, assalamu alaikum, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon all of us. My name is Abdul Fattah Adeyemi, and I want you to also join me to welcome uh, to your living quarters and your homes this hour. We have with us tonight, Sheikh Ali Imam Abdul Mu'min. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah. Imam is uh, the Imam of uh, Area 8, Jumat Mosque in Abuja. And... Um, this is the program you have been waiting to uh, to see that is uh, fundamentals of islam and this program is reaching you live from nta channel 5 abuja the unity station the topic of our discussion tonight has to do with leadership and um, how do we conduct ourselves as leaders in every walk of life that we are you know we are we know that um, in one form or the other we have to lead and uh, sometimes we are also led and as the case may be every aspect of our lives we are leaders in one form or the other at least you lead yourself or you lead your life and uh, you lead your family and then um, wherever you are so the islamic concept of leadership wherever we are catches up with us and we have to learn we have to know we have to understand what is it that the sharia that the Quran and Sunnah is teaching us concerning matters of leadership. We all know many of these things already, but it's always nice to be reminded because at every point in time, we shall all be leaders. So, um, Sheikh Abu Mumin, you are most welcome once more. Welcome. Now, let's look at it generally now, matters of leadership. We have been talking about this for a long time. Is it so important that we should always talk about leadership? Please tell us so that we can appreciate how important that yeah, how important it is yeah. that matters of leadership cannot be over discussed. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa as-salatu wa salam ala rasulillah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaykum salam and viewers Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This topic of leadership Hmm. It's a very good and a very important uh, topic to be discussed. Inshallah. And uh, the word leadership is a very difficult tax. Hmm. And if we are talking of uh, leadership, it entails all ramification. Allah May it be traditional leadership, hmm. uh, Islamic uh, leadership, no, um. or political arena. Hmm. Political leadership, I say. Okay. Uh, in Christianity, in the mocks as a Muslim, all together, all are leadership, even in your matrimonial home. Hmm. We are all leaders. We are all leaders. One form or the other. Or the other. So it's very important. Hmm. And the bone of contention in Islam, meaning what Islam focus in terms of leadership in general, is justice. 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 Hmm, that's so, a very big word. Yes. As a leader, if you try your best to do justice, inshallah, Allah will help you. Allah will solve many problems for you and there will be peace. Hmm. Justice. Within the country, within the people that we are governing. Hmm. That is why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu I see uh, in the authentic hadith that... Um, the issue of leadership starts at home. Okay. In your family, he said, Kullukum ra'i wa kullukum mas'oolun ar-ra'iyyati. All of you are shepherd, and you will be asked regarding the shepherd, meaning those people that are under you, hmm. your wives and your children. Hmm. Are you doing justice within them? Hmm. And when he was explaining the hadith, he said, Hmm. Uh, a man is 
or has a responsibility to okay. his family okay. and he is going to be asked regarding that responsibility. Hmm. Is he treating them well? Hmm. You understand? Yes. But if somebody maybe decided to be maltreating his family, he should not think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave him you know in peace hmm. so in this world and the here so, far and here. Hmm. so that means there are dear consequences yes for not um, upholding the tenets of leadership. of leadership now good very interestingly you've mentioned the aspect of justice yes. that the person has to be just in everything they do can you unpack it a little more tell us more yes, about because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, all, all, all also coined the similitude in the Holy Quran. Hmm. Allah say, "Wa ida hakam tum bayna nasi an tahkumu bil ald, an tahkumu bil adl." Hmm. That when you judge between men, between people, you should do justice. Hmm. And again, for Allah to encourage the leaders, for them to be embarking on justice wherever they see themselves as a leader. Hmm. Allah say wa akusitu in Allah yuhibbul muksitin Allah that make reconciliation hmm. between them meaning those that has a misunderstanding or a quarreling okay. when you want to reconcile them you should do justice hmm. Allah yuhibbul muksitin aw muksitin that Allah love those who uh, are just and equitable Hmm, justice and equitability Allah Akbar very this important. yes these are very very um, crucial aspects of leadership and um, though I will still want you to tell us um, a lot more about this justice and equitability but still tell us more are there some other qualities that we need to hold in our hands yes uh, as a leader you're supposed to try your best to some extent to see okay. that anything that you are doing because the issue of leadership hmm. the reason why we are focusing on uh, justice is that no. if you are doing justice within your family okay. and in the place of your work as a leader or as a governor as a minister or hmm. president chairman or what have you you have rest of mind and there will be peace and harmony and many things will go well hmm. you understand yes the issue yes, of leadership yes, yes. Is justice hmm. the issue of patience is also there okay but if we are not patient you cannot be a leader hmm. patience patient if you are not patient enough you can be a leader how, how do we as a leader yes. many people will come to you and be gossiping that this is also person said this and that about hmm. you that your leadership you are not leading well it's not good hmm. you are suffering people or people are suffering under your leadership hmm. you should try to be calm hmm. don't react immediately because okay. some people are there that is the way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <laughs> created them <laughs> and to them that is the way of getting their daily bread Hmm. If they don't lie, they don't gossip, they don't be hypocrite, then as if they are not living fine. Hmm. That is say, okay. And most of the leaders, that is what they want. Hmm. The people that are criticizing them, somebody coming to telling them, hmm. gossiping, then he will grasp it. He will hold, uphold it very well, tightly. Then he will be having a lot of enemies. Hmm. So as a leader, if you are doing that, definitely it will be distracting your attention in leading so you need to so be the patient. only thing hmm. if they come in between the two you say okay sit down you so so, so so person did that or said this and that should i call the person then you started calling you say no please uh, uh, <laughs> no, you know you should start you know, uh, shivering but if you accept you also hmm. try to plan another one and come over and over again you understand hmm. and again as a leader you're supposed to have a kind of a charisma okay be charismatic yeah. towards the people towards people hmm. and uh, having that of uh, zeal and capacity of controlling people hmm. you should not be somehow uh, so reluctant hmm. you should be 
you know, coordinating, supervising, and watching what is happening. Okay. You understand? Okay. So yes. that you can sit down and think thoroughly and plan towards that. Allah Akbar. Do not sit in your office, you know, waiting for people to bring issues. Hmm. No, there are one or two ways that you have to, you know, uh, a lot of techniques. Use a lot of techniques yes. See that what is really happening, what is going on. You know what is going on, going on in within, your environment. Okay. Your environment within the jurisdiction of your leadership okay. so that you can be sorting things out. Okay. So very importantly, a leader has to have the sense of justice and fairness yes. and should also be patient and at the same time, he should be aware of his environment so that he can, you know, resolve whatever issues yeah. that will arise from there. Thank you very much for that. On that note, we'll take a short break now. And when we return, the discussion continues. It is still uh, Fundamentals of Islam uh, reaching you from NTA Channel 5 Abuja, the Unity Station. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you very much for staying tuned. We are still on to the program Fundamentals of Islam, reaching you from NTA Channel 5 Abuja, the Unity Station. We have been talking about matters of leadership, and I've heard with me in the studio, we have a Sheikh Al Imam Al Abdul Mumin. He has been discussing with us about um, salient features of um, leadership and uh, what are the things that a leader must always bear in mind when he finds himself in the position of leadership and authority. So here, Sheik, tell us some more about this. You've mentioned justice, which is a very big one, very serious matter. And um, you also mentioned patient, uh, I mean patience, and the fact that the leader should, you know, be aware of his environment. So tell us some more about that. Yes, uh, when uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is uh, encouraging leaders uh, in general, hmm. uh, among the seven people that Allah will protect them with his shade in the day of judgment, the day that there is no shade except the shade of Allah, <laughs> Yawman al -dilli, illa illa. Uh, he made mention, or even the first person uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallam mentioned uh, in the hadith is uh, Imamun Adil, hmm. that a just leader. Hmm. So we can see that uh, if you are leading people hmm. and uh, you are trying your best to see that uh, you do justice, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you in terms of uh, governing or leading the people. Hmm. And again, uh, as a leader, we used to see them as if uh, maybe because the way of their leadership no. is not okay and people will be abusing them, cursing them and what have you. Hmm. If you are a leader and you are so serious and you are trying your best, inshallah, you should be supplicating supplicating to Allah and Allah will accept your supplication. Hmm. You understand? That, that, that means uh, one of the things the yeah. leader should do, should do is to be spiritual, to pray ah, yes. a lot. Okay. Because Prophet Muhammad hmm. Muhammad has coined the similarity also in the uh, authentic hadith that Talatatun la yuraddu du'a'uhum that the three people that Allah will not reject their prayers. Hmm. The first person he mentioned also there is uh, Imamul Adilun, just the leader. So if you are trying your best, mm. even though people are making noise, intrinsically inside mm. your mind, you know that you are trying your best, and people that know they are seeing it apparently also, mm. because that's the issue of leadership. Yeah. You cannot be hiding things in your mind that you are doing justice, and people are not seeing it. No, if you are doing justice, you give these uh, people this so 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 thing, and if you also repeat the same thing on the other side, like mm. that, you go around, you understand? Yeah. Yes. And again, if you are so tenacious in seeing that, yes, the people that you delegated, in terms of sharing their or apportioning the responsibility, yes. you should be trying to be, you know, uh, see that you coordinate, you ask why are these things going mm. on or not, is everybody working, you understand? No. So, in a nutshell, uh, as a leader, you should continue praying. Prayers in terms of may God assist you or help you mm. in carrying out the activities or the responsibilities of people that is on you. And now, it's very Akbar. important. Mm. And again, may Allah or God protect you from the evil doers. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Mm. You no, understand? But in yes. a situation whereby somebody is beating his chest that he can do everything, 
you understand he can do justice if he goes there he will not do anything hmm. but if you are there you understand paraventure you are there people elected you people appointed you or people want you to be there they voted for you then you see yourself there you should try your best and be prayerful be prayerful so very important hmm. so when you say being prayerful now and um the sense of responsibility you've mentioned the aspect of justice and what have you let's narrow it down now to the family unit uh, these qualities you've mentioned do they also apply to mr husband who is supposed to be the leader of the home yes very well hmm. that is why from the starting of the procedures program hmm. we mentioned made mention of that because uh, when we are talking of uh, leadership yes. in general, before coming out as a leader, mm. if you are trying to do justice within the family setup yes. in, in your matrimonial home, mm. inshallah, with that, mm. if they should give you any responsibility elsewhere or outside, you will also try your best. Mm. So if you, if that means if you can succeed yes. in the home as, the a leader, home as a leader, then you can succeed elsewhere, elsewhere too. Elsewhere, yes. Because the reason why we are saying that, uh, for instance, you have one wife or two or three or four and children, maybe uh, five, six or ten. There are a lot of things that you're supposed to be observing and controlling mm. and petting. You know, be patient to see that you don't scatter your house mm. or your home per se. You understand? Yes. So, if that you are maintaining that if you come out inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ginger your effort to see that you are calm and in terms of leading people hmm. be perfect inshallah allah akbar so ah, that's a, a big one there for the husbands now you have been talking about husbands now is it only men that are leaders no in terms of leadership as we explained earlier hmm. uh, prophet has said it all you understand no, uh. that uh, all of you has a responsibility and you're going to ask or be interrogated in the day of judgment regarding the responsibility to so all of you male regardless of okay yes, male or female hmm. but the issue is uh, being <laughs> uh, segregated okay in terms of uh, as you lead as a female where are you leading or okay. where you supposed to lead mostly in no. Islamic perspective okay is home Hmm. Like home, their husband home. Even in that hadith, it made mention of that that a woman, a married woman, in your husband home, you are a leader. Hmm. Also do justice. You understand? Allah your husband Akbar. is not at home. He trusted you before he married you. You understand? Yes. He believes in you that you're not going to do any nonsense if he's not around. <laughs> then you should keep that. If he's not around, you hmm. should be saved and then you no know, safeguard your ornament and chastity. So he comes back. Do you understand? And again, you should try to control, assist him in training the children also, hmm. because it's another way of leadership. Another side. Okay, you the are woman patient. You cannot control the children, particularly women. Hmm. You understand? That is why, or is among the reason why Prophet Muhammad was saying that if you want uh, uh, pious children, you should make sure that you marry a pious woman, so that <laughs> she can assist you in training the, your children in an Islamic way. Allah Akbar, in the Sorry. path of piety yes. and, and uprightness. Allah Akbar. So we, we have seen now that um, both men and women, they have the responsibility of leadership, yes. especially within the home. Now let's move outside the home a little more now okay. to the wider society. We have many straighters. We have um, um, organizations, we have companies, we have offices where we have the leader who is to direct the affairs of the people there in that particular office. Please tell us a lot more about this so that people will know that it is part and parcel of being a Muslim that you must be a good leader and you must exhibit these qualities of leadership. Yes. I want you to ex uh, you know, emphasize a little further on that for us. Uh, which is, uh, this, uh, what you say that is very important. Alhamdulillah. Very, very important Alhamdulillah. because uh, if we are talking of a leadership in general, mm. both Muslims and Christians, we are all leaders. Mm. Particularly as we made mention of company and offices and what have you. Mm. If you have been made a leader, a director, a commissioner, executive, MD and what have you, mm. GM in various organizations, they expect you to lead well. Hmm. so that the people that you are leading, the workers, they will be happy with you. Hmm. Because of the hadith of Prophet Muhammad that said that um, 
alladhina tuhibbunahum wa yuhibbunakum wa tusalluna alayhim wa yusalluna alayhim that the best of your leader hmm. are those who love who love you and you also love them allah akbar who uh, invoke allah's mercy and blessing upon you and you also invoke allah's blessing and mercy upon them also hmm. you understand yeah. you see and the second part of the hadith you see wa shiraru a'immatukum the worst of your leaders are those that uh, you hate them and they also hate you you curse them and they also curse you yeah, yeah, you yeah, understand yeah. Hmm. so the hadith continues but because of time factor but in initial what you say here they are encouraging people that if you are a leader you should try your best to see that the people that you are leading are praying for you hmm. they love you they like you then they won't, they don't even want you to go if allow the opportunity akbar. of having the second tenure hmm. they should allow you to go for the second allow tenure. but in a situation whereby you hate them and they also hate you hmm. they are causing you and you are causing them which is very bad leadership hmm. you, you should not allow yourself to be in in that uh, situation as a leader uh, you should try your best to see that their salary their incentive all this but that, that is due to them, to them. So hmm. that they should not be embezzling and siphoning the money. Yeah, subhanAllah, that's a very big word you just used there. Um, well, you see, when you mention something like this, uh, those who are leaders, I'm sure they understand very well that it's, it's, it's not so easy, actually. Because you cannot please everyone, you still have to uphold your fairness and justice, just like you mentioned earlier on. And uh, when the matter is like this, you just also said that uh, a good leader is the one that prays for his people and his people also pray for him. Yes. That, oh, this person has done something something good for us, something nice for us. But in a case where um, you can't satisfy everybody, what should you do? Maybe you are trying to do what is right and they hate you because of that. Should somebody compromise on his, um, you know, fairness and justice? No. Uh, truly is among the reason why from the initial stage i said that uh, leadership is a very difficult tax hmm. because when you are trying to do things that are very very okay hmm. some people are there condemning you so that you, are not, you are doing nothing and, and it's not good because of their selfish interest so whose so who's law should we now obey now you, they, they or, or, or the only thing you you try to do is that in uh, anywhere that you are working in a parastata ministry, they have their rules and regulations mm. that favors everybody. Mm. And if the rules and regulations favors everybody and you wanted to apply that and uh, some people are clamoring, you should not even listen to them. Do what is right. Yes. Hmm. Sure. Do what is right. That's uh, the thing now. You had it all now. Do what is right. Do what is right uh, and uh, back up with prayers. Uh, back it up with prayers because hmm, this life, eh, you get as you be, like they say. But nevertheless, we should all have fear of Almighty Allah and do what is right. And nevertheless, still be nice to people. Be good and kind to others. When you are good and kind, even if anybody is working against you, Almighty Allah will always see you through. So a leader shouldn't be wicked. He shouldn't be, you know, malignant. He shouldn't be cruel to his people. But he should be kind and merciful to them. And he should also pray for them. I think I like that. Yes, yes you should pray for the people that you lead yes. so that they too may pray for you. And it's a very nice thing for us to do. Thank you very much. You. You've really taught us um, uh, another very important dimension of leadership uh, tonight. You know, prayer especially all right thank you very much our esteemed uh, uh, listeners and viewers may almighty Allah bless you bless your homes and bless the eyes with which you are looking at us and all leaders from all walks of life in uh, whatever capacity you find yourself may almighty Allah support you and give you the wisdom to be able to lead and to lead very well and to do the right thing regardless of whatever uh, challenges you may face on the way for those who stand by almighty Allah Allah will always stand by them. If you stand for justice, Allah will always support your cause. So let's do this again, same station next time. May Allah preserve our lives. Do have a wonderful weekend ahead. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, I love Muhammad Mustafa.